feel like I want to up the ante here. <laughs> All right. I think we should play strip dodgeball. Oh. <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> By now, it's no secret we all know that Claire Crawley is on her way out early in this season of The Bachelorette, which might explain why her season is getting real weird real fast. Here are the season 16 episode 2 moments that made us go, uh, warning, light spoilers ahead. A group date based on love languages sets up some pretty interesting scenes. She stands in a tower like Juliet, hearing her Romeos expressing their adoration for her. For gifts, the guys present Claire objects with sentimental value. A box in a box? Yeah, I always thought that half the fun of gifts was unwrapping them. Oh my god, this but. is... <laughs> for touch, Claire and the guys feel each other up while blindfolded. Interesting idea, except all of the guys have to watch this go down, and her touch session with Dale was a little intense. <laughs> Watching Claire with Dale was definitely uncomfortable. It's touching on a deeper level. They kind of already have that connection, so I'm jealous. While it's pretty clear Claire is into Dale, things get pretty awkward when she feels like no one is really that into her. When Claire asks the guys who wants to steal her away for a sec, this happens. Uh, so, should we get the night started? I think yeah. you should. Yeah. Think you should. Yeah. yeah? All right. Does anybody want to... <clears throat> Yeah, let's do it. I would love Step to. Step up I'll, to the I'll, plate. I'll, I would love to. I would love to go chat with you. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Go do it. Didn't get any time, you know, the first night. It bothers her so much she brings it up in the middle of a date with Bennett. It's like, why didn't those Bugging guys get up? Yeah, why didn't I'm they sorry. do or say anything? I'm sorry. If you guys want to burrow out, or if you want to <laughs> do your thing, you're in the wrong place. You're in the wrong place. You know, I agree. like I've waited I way too long. Yeah. Um, I'm so sorry. And she's bothered so much she confronts the group about it. I'm sitting here, I had made a toast, and then there was the longest awkward silence. And I just sat here and was embarrassed and had to like, almost like, does anybody want to spend time with me? I'll take a moment to speak for the group. I don't think, I don't think that was You don't need intention. to speak for the group. I'll you speak, need to speak for yourself. Speak for if myself. you guys all want to hang out with each other, you can do that and I can go home and go to bed. Dale jumps in to save the night even though Bennett was the first one to volunteer. Awkward silence, everybody's just sitting here. Yeah. Nobody yeah, wants yeah. to hang out and get no, extra not at quality all. time not at all. with me. Yeah, so. of course, of course. <laughs> Two words, strip dodgeball. Enough said. You want to say you want a man with some balls? It, let's go. Oh. <laughs> These guys really stepped up to the plate tonight. When Blake's team loses the dodgeball game, he decides to try and steal some time with Claire, and people aren't too happy about that. Claire lets him know what's up in a pretty civil way, except for some weird reason, he takes it as a hint to just go for it. I will say though, I don't want to disrespect these guys and have them upset at you, but I want you to know that I appreciate you coming here. Give me a hug. Thank you for coming. Thank you so much, Blake. Thank you. Come on, you can't, can't go in for it right now. Okay. Come on. And talk about a cringy date. Claire was a little taken back when Brandon seemed to not know anything about her. Take note, guys. This is not how you impress somebody. So what made you want to be on here for me? First of all, you're obviously absolutely gorgeous. Thank um, you. But... Uh, other than that, to be honest with you, I don't know really anything about you. I know that you're, you know, from Sacramento. You don't know anything about me? I don't, I don't know. You per obviously don't know you on a personal level and uh -huh. don't know your history. Uh-huh. Um, you're just, you're just so beautiful and I wanted to get to know you. Is there any other thing that made you want to come on because, for me? Um, I, d I don't have a specific answer for you. Okay. Things don't go well for Brandon. Let's just say that. Saddle up, everyone. The rest of Claire's season can only get weirder from here.